Caring for orphan kittens is exciting and rewarding work. When you're first presented with an orphan kitten, it is a good idea to do an exam to gather baseline information on that kitten. Record your findings and have a written record for each individual kitten. The steps involved in examining an orphan kitten should include Step 1. Estimating the kitten's age. You can use weight, teeth, and other significant events such as eye opening to help. You can use the chart developed by the University of Florida as well as other resources located on Maddie's Institute's website. Keeping kittens less than two weeks of age warm is important during the examination as they cannot thermoregulate normally yet. Step 2. Checking the kitten's attitude. Is the kitten bright, alert, and responsive to you? If the kitten is quiet or dull, check its temperature. Make sure he isn't chilled. Kittens under the age of two weeks cannot regulate their own body temperature and will need an outside heat source to stay warm. At first, chilling may cause the kitten to cry a lot, but this will progress to being quiet and dull. Next, check the kitten's body condition, muscle tone, and coat condition. The kitten should be plump and round with good body symmetry. The muscle tone should be strong, and the coat should be shiny and free of debris. Check the umbilical area for any pain, redness, or swelling. Step 4. Always make sure to weigh your kitten during the initial exam and frequently thereafter. Weight is a good indicator of how healthy your kitten is. Underweight kittens will need extra attention and do not tend to thrive without extra care. Kittens under 2 weeks of age should be weighed twice a day. Kittens 2-4 to four weeks of age should be weighed daily, ideally at the same time each day. The next step involves getting a rectal temperature on your kitten. This is an important but tricky step and care should be given not to harm the kitten. Make sure to use a quick reading thermometer and lots of lube. Don't insert more than the tip of the thermometer. If the kitten is really fighting this, then don't force it. Next, if you have a stethoscope, you can check the kitten's heart rate and respiratory rate. The heart rate of kittens should be in the range of 220 to 260 beats per minute. Heart rates will slow down when a kitten is chilled. The normal respiratory rate of kittens at birth is about 10 to 18 breaths per minute. After one week of age, the rate increases to 16 to 32 breaths per minute. Respirations should be regular and not take a lot of effort, and the nasal airway should be clear of mucus or discharge. As you're looking over your kitten, check a few reflexes. Kittens between 0 to 14 days should have a rooting reflex to look for the nipple and a suckle reflex. You may also see a writing reflex. Step 8 involves looking in the kitten's mouth. Check for any abnormalities to the palate. A cleft palate is a birth defect which will make it very difficult for the kitten to consume milk. Check the kitten's mucous membranes to make sure they're pink, moist, and slippery. Dry, tacky, or dark pink mucous membranes may mean the kitten is dehydrated or sick. Next, check the kitten's eyes and ears. The eyes open in kittens at around 8 to 10 days of age. The ears open around the same time. Make sure the eyes and ears don't have any discharge and are not swollen or painful. If you see anything abnormal in either, be sure and have it addressed quickly by a veterinarian. Step 10 involves checking the kitten's rear end to make sure everything is present and accounted for. Male kittens will show two dots, an anus and a urethral opening. Female kittens will have an anal dot and a line that is a urethral opening. These are closer together in females than males. Next, you can try feeding the kitten to check his appetite. If she's a bottle baby, then consider diluting down the first few feedings with water or an oral electrolyte solution low in sugar. Dietary changes are upsetting to a kitten's delicate digestive system. Once you've fed the kitten, if he or she is under four weeks of age, they will need help from you to eliminate. Stimulate the kitten to check for urination and defecation. Kittens should urinate after every feeding and defecate about every day to day and a half. The urine should be dilute yellow, if it's more concentrated, the kitten may be dehydrated. Remember to write down all your findings in a record on each individual kitten. You can use this information to calculate nutritional needs and as a guide throughout the kitten's care with you. Check out the weight and feeding charts and references on the Maddie's Institute website for more information.